I'm on my way to the Blue Grotto and um, I'm going to take the bus. So I've got my uh, card. It's, you can use this on the buses and it uh, looks like you can use it on the ferry as well. But it's the first time I'm going to use one of these things. Apparently it's supposed to be very easy and cheap. So uh, let's see how I get on. So I've got to get two buses, one to Valenta, the capital where the main bus station is. And then from there, the number 74, which should take me directly to uh, the Blue Grotto and see how long it takes. It is now 10.22, oh, let's see. So that was nice and simple. And you arrive here at the terminal, right outside the fountain, which today is working. Yesterday I came here and it was working, so I'm going to take a few pictures here. So you have my next bus. So the next day they've turned the fountain on. I think probably on Sunday they don't use the fountain. So if you wanted to come and see the fountain, it seems like uh, you've got to come any other day apart from uh, Sunday. Much better than yesterday. But, uh, be warned, it's very busy in the morning as you can see all these people queuing up for the bus. Uh, the bus is number 38 that you catch to the Hello. Blue Grotto. Uh, a lot of these people are actually not going to the Blue Grotto, so that's one thing you might uh, watch out for is a lot of these people are going to get off, so the bus does get quiet uh, throughout the journey, so it's not as bad as it looks through here, but um, it was a nice journey. It took about, um, I think, just under an hour, but it depends on the traffic, early morning traffic, um, or if you call it a little bit later. But my advice is just sit back, relax, and enjoy the view on the way. Alright, so arrived at the place I need to get off. Now I'll get off as well, you can see. Now you can just walk around, which is what I'm going to do. And then connect my way to the grotto. has now got off the bus because this is the spot so the bus actually goes past the entrance to the grotto uh, so you've actually got to go back on yourself uh, when you're going to to the grotto it's a very cool cars in uh, Malta uh, so cross the road uh, once you get off the bus and then just head back up uh, where you came from This is the bus stop to go back. So as you get to the top, you can just see outside the bus stop to go back into Malta. There's this little pathway. So if you follow this path all the way around, This is just a, a viewpoint. Uh, it's not at the actual entrance of the grotto. So this is just if you want to take some pictures. Uh, it overlooks uh, the scenery. Um, it's quite a nice place to take some pictures. Everyone tended to get off, come down here, take some pictures, uh, and then walk all the way back. Um, it has some, some nice views. And you can also see the, uh, the boats going back and forth as well uh, if you stay here long enough. Then you've got to go back up the path and then continue down the road. So it is um, quite a long walk, probably about 10-15 uh, minutes, depending on how quickly you walk. So be prepared to walk down, and you're going to have to walk up, going back. So that's the downside of catching the bus. If you obviously come by car, you can park directly here. Make life easier for yourself. So you buy the ticket 
all the way down. You can't use the, the, the slipway to come down. It tells you to go up, so you've got to walk all the way around. And then you get your ticket. It's 10 euros. Here's my ticket. And uh, let's see if I have to wait. I assume they will want to fill up the boat. And as yet, no one is behind me. Boat ready. Boat ready. 